Within our own universe lies another universe unbeknownst to us. The realm of the Micronauts. A domain ruled by Baron Karza, an evil tyrant, whose scientific marvels offer his people immortality at the cost of their humanity. But all of that is about to change when Ryan Archer is thrown into their world. Micronauts. Revolution. You want to know how I got here? Man, I'm not even sure where here is. Why don't... <sighs> okay. Let me... Let me start from the beginning. See, my dad's a scientist. Or was, I should say. The time is 8.27 a.m. Saturday, June 29th. Anyway, he works... Worked... At this high-tech research facility. About 85 miles outside Vegas. In the middle of the desert. Death Valley. Field dampener steady. Containment grid currently at 65%, lowering at 5% intervals every 15 seconds. We shouldn't witness any feedback if all goes according to plan. T minus 3 minutes, 15 seconds, and counting. About a year ago, some kind of weird portal opened up from out of nowhere out in the desert. It started sucking stuff in. Kind of like a black hole, but, you know, smaller. When important, and by important I mean rich, when important people started disappearing, the government stuck its head in by calling my dad, who's some big hotshot in energy research. They thought maybe these rich guys were out looking for thrills and got sucked into this thing. So they wanted my dad to find a way to get him out. Everything is in place. Eleven months of preparation has brought us to this point, gentlemen. So, my dad, the infamous Dallas Archer, <laughs> and his team came in on the government's dime and had this facility built so they could study the thing. I've never seen something so huge built so quickly. It's time. They also built this cool little robot probe they called the Micronaut that they planned to send through the rift. Oh yeah, that was what my dad called the black hole thing. He could have called it anything, but it had to be the rift. Containment grid at 15%. Stand by for complete shutdown in 45 seconds. He said it was because it wasn't actually a black hole, that it was more of an opening in space than an actual black hole because light can't escape from a black hole, but this thing was giving off light. So anyway, they fed the Micronaut all kinds of information about Earth and its history, you know, in case it finds anything other than rich guys in there. 5%. We lived at the facility so Dad could work pretty much around the clock, so it was always around when they were testing stuff. We kind of got attached to the little bot. Containment grid at zero percent. Dampeners holding steady. So, when I found out they were sending him into the rift, I snuck into the main chamber to watch it happen. Send him through. Bad idea. Whoa. Huh? Ryan? Oops. Cover blown. Oh, that's my name, by the way. Ryan. What are you doing in here? I thought I made it clear the last time that this chamber is off limits. Dad and I used to go round and round. We were two totally different people who'd butt heads every chance we got. You've been working yourself crazy. I haven't seen you in days. I just wanted to see this is all. What's the big deal? The big deal, Ryan, is that the rift is highly unstable. The slightest... Now what? That can't be good. Energy levels are off the chart, Dr. Archer. Dampers are failing and we're getting massive feedback. We're locked out of the system and can't raise the grid. Now do you understand, Ryan? Do you see? If I'd been paying attention instead of... You know what? Forget it. Once again, your reputation for irresponsibility precedes you. Right now, I've got more important things to worry about. Dad, I'm... Dr. Archer, something's coming through. Something's coming through! That's when it got ugly. Ugh! Get out of here. Quickly have to find a way to raise the grid before more of them come through. They... they just mowed down everybody in sight. It was horrible. 
I'm going to try shutting down all power to the grid. Flipping it back on should reboot the system and reestablish the grid's lock on the rift. Stand by. Shutting down power. No oh, Dad! What? Oh my god, Dad! No! I I couldn't believe it. I, I was helpless. They they killed my dad. Right in front of my eyes. And I couldn't do a thing about it. And then everything really got screwy. But nothing can describe what I saw and felt. The closest I can come to it is that it felt like... Like... Every layer of my skin was ripped off and stacked back on top of each other one at a time. It seemed like it went on forever. I think I've swallowed my own vomit half a dozen times. What in the world was that? Whoa. Where am I? It was all a bunch of gibberish to me. I mean, I've always had this way of understanding things, like foreign languages and stuff, but I'd never heard anything like this. Listen, I know, Shrump, I, I... It was pretty surreal. Just a minute before, these guys were my size. Then I find out they were just little guys in big suits of armor. Solo um no fight. It's all it's true. As little um hero. But when I got here, which I'm assuming is the other side of the rift, they were way bigger than me. It took me a second to wrap my head around that one. Whoa! At Gossen. What? What are you? Ow! Silverpit Kos Fusomo. Where are you taking? Oza. Bonzut Kanyi Nizilil. Zom Komnas Losloy Noas. Ah! What the heck are you doing, you maniac? It felt like they jabbed a needle into my brain. Salons, fool. What? I almost understood that. What did you... Ow! Then they carried me off like a... Like I was a hunter's fresh kill or something. Right then, all of a sudden it hit me. My dad is dead. And it's my fault. And here we are. Though I still don't know what that was I jammed in my ear. It's a translator. The wearer is able to instantly understand any language he hears. Baron Karza had them fashioned ages ago because he is insecure. He fears what he doesn't understand, so he conquers or crushes those fears through technology. Wait, who's Baron Karza? Who are you for that matter? What's your story? <laughs> Why are you hanging out in the shadows? Your voice sounds like somebody's revving up a diesel engine. Oh. I... I... Perhaps another time, young one. Rest now. Wake up, boy. Huh? I said, wake up! I'm awake! I'm awake. And I can understand you now. Wait! Where... Where are you taking me? This thing is heavy. How do you... Quiet! Boo! Sorry. Just a little shaken up here. All I want to know... Oh. Wow. Looks different up close. What? Um, where are we? Nicopolis. Huh? Holy crap, man! I thought maybe I dreamed you. Uh, are you a robot or something? No. I am a warrior. Um, yeah. General Kai, a ship approaches. It's the Sun Reaper. Horda. Greetings, Marunas Kai. Is that a variant I see, Ordo? It is. Take this gaggle of circus freaks to your master, Kai. We picked them up on Kagana while their little sideshow was packing up after a performance. They'll make fine stock for the Bio Vault, especially with a variant among their number. You presume much, little man. I presume to get paid, dog. My services are a commodity, not a gift. You do well to remember that Baron Karza is your master as well. 
Now you presume much, Kai, or Dahl is no man's lapdog. Were your precious Baron not so afraid to sully his hands? Here is your voucher, Blackguard. Take it to cash out, same as always, and be gone with you. There better be a bonus for the Baron. Until we meet again, General Kai. I'm going to miss that sunny disposition of his. It's a wonder how he keeps so much joy inside that enormous bubble on his shoulders. Have fun with that one, Kai. He fancies himself a comic. He'd be floating in the ether by now, if not for the price a buddy like his commands. Hmm. Agreed. Release the Varian. He comes with me. Take the rest of this lot to the pen. Lord Karza. General Kai and his harrowers have returned with the boy. Excellent, General Nova. Bring him to me. Within the chest of weakness beats the heart of imperfection. Imperfection, young Ryan, begets chaos. As you can see, I've carved that defective heart from its cavity and extracted order, my order. Clichéd as it may seem, the strong are indeed the only survivors when it comes to my order. You, Ryan, are one of the strong. Your place is at the side of one such as I who can guide that string. Huh? I'm not sure. Um, wh what do you... Why me? Do you take me for a fool? Kaza is no one's fool! Remove him. Perhaps a stay in the pens will jog his memory of what he is. Huh? Not very smart, are you? Angering the Baron. But I don't... Save yourself some misery and tell him what he wants. Gah! What the... Biotron is none of your concern. Keep moving. Scan engaged. Complete. Log. Reference number 7302565. What is that incessant racket? I wish I could tell you. It's been doing it since it arrived through the rift. It's on its way to the Biosmith now for analysis. Scan engaged. Complete. Log. Reference number 7302566. Be swift about it. That noise is infuriating. Receiving signal. Encryption engaged. Locking signal data. Complete. Reference number 7302567. Encryption indicates match in previous records. Accessing file. Image on signal data reference number 7302567. Match is scan reference number 7302565. Match. Log. Reference number 7302568. Enjoy your stay. Let me help you. Are you hurt? I... I don't think so. That Karza guy? He really, really scares the heck out of me. As well he should. There is much to learn about your captor, Ryan, if you're to be of any help. What? Sit. Perhaps I can elaborate. Tales of Baron Karza's past are fragmented at best. No one knows the exact details, save himself. What is known, that he was once a brilliant young scientist and engineer, robotics his specialty. Once he mastered that field, he moved on to more ambitious experiments. Cloning, body farming, hybridization. He was pushing the scientific envelope farther than it had gone before. This brought him into conflict with the established order system during those times, and he was imprisoned. 
Over time, those who saw his experiments as a necessary change to the antiquated order system rallied together in his name and eventually sprung him from captivity. Karza had become a living martyr for change. With little provocation, he assumed command of what had become an army of devoted followers who were using technology he created and stormed the galaxy, stamping out every vestige of the old order as they went. Once he donned the ceremonial armor of his predecessor, his usurpation was complete and his dominance absolute. The galaxy has been under the iron fist of his rule for some time now. I... I had no idea. Where do you fit in? What's... what's your name? I am called a Croyer. As for where I fit in, I... The Princess Persephone approaches. Assume the proper genuflection. Suppose that story will have to wait for another time. I suggest you kneel like the rest of us. The Princess's vanity knows little boundaries. And avert your eyes. Persephone doesn't. So, what sort of rabble do we have today? And where is this Varian I've been hearing so much about? I believe he's gone up for auction, Princess. Ah, I suppose I'll have to petition my father for a viewing before he's... What is this? Why are you looking at me? Uh, I was just... How dare you? Have you no idea who I am? Someone please teach this filth a lesson. Stand down! No one looks at the princess without permission. <laughs> oh. Filthy, disgusting vermin, a lot of you. Consider yourselves fortunate I don't have you killed for his ineptitude. Welcome, distinguished guests. Today, a special treat. As you know, many species throughout the galaxy face extinction. Several are under my protection and serve under my direct jurisdiction to ensure their survival. This one is no exception. Behold, one of the last known variants. <gasps> Stunning. Incredible. You'll note a few things in particular. The gills on his face denote an ability to breathe underwater. Though his coloring is somewhat different, You'll notice that much like the Antrons, his race spawned as a result of their near extinction. He has four arms. As I said, the few Varians left owe their survival to me. This slippery trickster, this knave, fled his home world, abandoned his people. One of my bounty hunters picked him up on Kagana as part of a traveling circus of all things. His debt to me is delinquent. He'll repay it by serving as a slave to one of you. Look him over carefully, my guests. What am I bid for this rarest of specimens? Who you think you are, Pinkskin? You heard what Princess said. We're lucky to be alive right now. I think I fixed that for you. No. Stay your hand. I know you don't understand, but I can sense it, feel it. This is the one we've been waiting for. It's no small wonder the Baron is so interested in him. He's... Uh. Yes, I will relay. Lord Karza, a disturbance. Pen 16. Prisoners making trouble. Archer's pen. I see. General Nova, take Biotron with you to Pen 16. Discern the nature of this disturbance and put an end to it. But keep the boy out of it. Eulatus, have the Vault Keepers return the Varian to the Isopen. His winner can claim him later. I'll be in my chambers. Nice work, Acroyer. Do you play that rough with the ladies as well? Azura, there's no need to. No need? I beg to differ. And it's General Asura. Address me as anything less in the future, and you'll be doing more than just nursing your fractured pride. Take him to the isopen. As for you, today Whoa. is your lucky day. Biotron? Oh my god! Father? 
May I enter? But of course, dear Persephone, I was just tending to matters of diplomacy. How was your day? You wouldn't believe it. I was in Pen 16, hoping to catch a glimpse of the Varian I've heard so much about. And one of those putrid criminals looked at me as if... as if I were some... harlot. My sweet girl, your worries are for naught. That particular pen was cleared only moments ago. The wretch who cast his eyes upon you is gone. Really? You're so good to me, Father. I don't deserve you. I... uh, you... I'm exhausted. I suppose I'll retire. Good night, Father. Sleep well. Sleep well. Would that I were able. How can one sleep when there is still much to be done? When chaos still burns freely, and so much remains to be perfected? There is weakness in sleep. Yeah, death is traumatic. Get out. Unbelievable. Angering both Lord Karza and the princess in the same day. Now, why don't you make my job easier and try to stay out of trouble this time? What? What? What are you looking at? Ryan Archer, right? Well, you can't blame them. You've been quite the topic of conversation around here as of late. What do you... why? What did I do? How do you know who I am? Who are you? So many questions. You're alive, for one thing. Few have been where you have and can make that claim. As for who I am... My name is Kariah, but most know me better as Galactic Defender. Scan engaged. Complete. Match found in previous records. Reference number 7302566. Her profile of image on reference number 7302566. Analogous to combat training joint. Reference number 6173204. Scanning. Complete. Logged. Reference number 7302569. Image on reference number 7302569 matches data port on Biotron armor surface. Connection test engaged. <sighs> what is it? I'm busy. Very busy. Apologies, Biosmith. You'd better get to your robotics lab. There's been an incident. Apparently, Biotron has shut down. He's offline. What? I said Biotron has... I heard you, imbecile. I was expressing disbelief, not asking you to repeat your babbling. Now, don't touch anything. I'll be along momentarily. Ha! I'm too much for these combat droids, General Nova. I need a real challenge. Focus, Persephone. Watch your left flank. I see it! You know you really should stop treating me like I'm a little girl. I'm more than capable of taking care of myself. See? I'm a warrior, not some brat that needs your pampering. I beg to differ. Despite your father's stature, you are not untouchable. You are, however, a brat. Why, you... you... treacherous witch! Wait until my father hears about this. Get back here, Princess. Your session isn't... Oh. General Nova. Lord Karza, allow me to explain. The Princess lost focus during combat training. She became too brash, too cocksure. I decided a lesson in humility would serve to bring her zeal into check. She became angry and... I see. Be aware, General. Your task is to teach your Princess the art of self-defense. 
Lessons in shaping her character are to be administered by me, and me alone. Is that clear? Of course, Lord Karza. I meant no disrespect. For a general, you've a lot to learn, Nova. What do you want, Kai? <laughs> it fascinates me to watch a ruthless killer with so little emotion chastised by her liege. Your point, Kai. Make it. You've been general of Baron Karza's Harriers a short time. I've led the Harrowers for longer than you've been alive and have watched several in your place make the same mistake time and again. Don't test his patience, Nova. You don't want to be on the receiving end of his wrath. I tend to mind my own business, Marunas Kai. Perhaps you ought to do the same? Spirit without emotion. Power without restraint. If I didn't hate her, I'd be in love. You there. I'd like a word. I said you. You there. Can you hear me? Are you the Varian I saw on the landing pad just days ago? The one the others have been calling the Knave. I have need of your... Ganem Jaffane. What's that? I can't hear you. What did you... I said my name is Ganem Jaffane, you oaf. Not the Knave, not the Varian, and not any of those idiotic slave names those fools have been calling me. I have a real name. Use it, damn it! I am not the enemy, Jafane. As you can see, I'm a prisoner here as well. I only meant... I know. I know. Sorry. It's just... Since birth, I've been an evolutionary throwback. Karza wiped out almost my entire race in his quest to create the Antrons. The last of my kind are now lawless thugs indebted to his servitude. I thought I could escape that by joining a traveling circus. Acrobatics, comedy, that type of thing. Thought I could make it to some distant world not tainted by his influence and just... disappear. Well, that plan didn't quite work out, did it? Now, here I am, branded a thief, repeatedly harassed by people who know nothing about me just for wanting to go my own course. Can you see why I might be... Well, Jafane, it appears your luck might be changing. Huh? What do you know about this? <laughs> Careful, Jafane. Reptos can be dangerous, unrestrained. Quickly now, everyone out. It won't be long before it's discovered the isopens are down. Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Perplexing. Everything appears as it should be. Save for some fused cabling and circuitry, Biotron is intact and should be fully operational. Why then can I not bring him back online? Maybe I can help. Huh? Who said that? Maybe I can help. Galactic Defenders were once a vast, galaxy-wide peacekeeping protectorate. Hence the name. Baron Karza and his forces laid waste to the entire constabulary when he made his bid for the throne. Now, Galactic Defender has been reduced to a title. A mantle given to just one peacekeeper at a time. Currently, me. It's my responsibility to ensure the survival of the galaxy. A galaxy without Karza. That's why I'm here, Ryan. Getting you out of here alive could be the key to making that happen. I still don't get it. Since I got here, I keep hearing about how important I am and, and I have no idea why. All I really want to do is get home so I can bury my dad. No offense, I just don't know what it is everybody wants from me. Okay, what was that? A diversion. Be ready for anything. All right, slaves. This is it. Your time is running out. More harrowers will be here any moment now. If you hurry, they'll find nothing but an empty cell. Go! Move!
I want answers and I want them now. What was that explosion and where did it originate? Eastern side of Mechopolis. Apparent distraction. Distraction? Explain. Escaped prisoners. Sentries investigated explosion. Found nothing. Pen 18 and ISO pens on opposite side of Mechopolis. Later found empty. 18. That's where I had Archer transferred. The ISO pen. Wild cards and troublemakers, the lot of them. Someone creates chaos to plot against me. A traitor walks among us. Only the highest ranking among your harrowers have key access to both pens, General Kai. Find the one responsible and bring him to me, alive. General Nova, assemble a squad of harriers and locate the escapees. Archer is to remain untouched, but the others are left to your mercy. Biosmith, where is Biotron? I need him groundside immediately. He... he's offline, Lord Garza. And what steps are you taking to crack this? He is of no use to me, inert. Bits of his cabling and circuitry have fused. Separation, without a permanent shutdown, doesn't appear possible. His secondary power source seems to be fine, but without knowing exactly what happened, it's dangerous to... Enough! I want results, not excuses. Get Biotron back online immediately, and send him groundside to retrieve the escaped prisoners. Yes, Lord Garza. I I'll notify you. I hate when he does that. Okay, not that I need your help, but what was it you were mumbling, little droid? Maybe I can help. Connection to Biotron initiated a mutual data transfer. Our memory drives are now compatible. I can help you bring him back online. Do tell. So, uh, why'd we leave the others? I mean, isn't there strength in numbers? In most cases, Ryan, yes. But this time is an exception. Too many heads would only slow us down. My mission here is to make sure that I get you to a specified rendezvous point safely. I intend to do that, no matter what stands in my way. The rendezvous is this way. Besides, did you see some of those brutes in the pen with us? Do you really want your back to them? Okay, I'm getting that everyone thinks I'm special for some reason, but how did you even know where I was? Or who I am? How did you know my name? Your new friend Acquire was able to sense in you an innate understanding. A metaphysical power that's been rumored to exist. Something that can bring Karza to his knees. Acquire got a message out. He started a ruckus and slipped it to a harrower, sympathetic to the revolution's cause during the melee. The mercenary Ordal was hired to bring it to us. Once it was received, I was intentionally captured, so I could help bring you out from the inside. Wait, you, you guys risked your lives just to get me out of here? On a rumor? I... This is... wow. This gets heavier by the minute. The escape prisoner alert. We don't have much time. They're on to us. Stay back! Enjoying your freedom now, Vermin? We need weapons. This is Baron Karz's armory. We should have no trouble finding what we need here. Choose wisely, my friends. Proficiency is paramount, not firepower. Ah, now, doesn't this look familiar? Served me well the last time I was here, when I had to fight my way to freedom in the arena. Weight and balance are perfect. My choice is made. That can't be good. It's an escape prisoner alert. They're looking for us. Listen, everyone. I'm to rendezvous with a group from the Revolution in order to ensure Ryan Archer's escape. I know it's difficult to understand, but it is of the utmost importance that he makes it to Sanctuary safely. The lives of everyone you or I know depend on it. Ryan is the key to Karz's undoing. I feel it. Know it. You're all free to go your own way, but my path is to find. If it means not having to live in fear anymore, I think we'd all agree. We're with you. Good. Let's move out. Huh? What? An escapee alert? Wait, it can't be! I thought Father had him killed! No matter, I'll bring him in personally. Insubordinate pen trash. Look at me without permission. I don't know how, but you avoided the consequences once. It won't happen again. 
I'll make sure you suffer before I take you back to the pens. An added bonus will be to watch that emotionless witch Nova cringe when it's me who brings him in and not her. This way, Ryan. The rendezvous is just ahead. Here they come! Greetings, Din Vissel. I see you've assembled a fine, if not motley, crew for this mission. The best, Karaya. But introductions will have to wait. We heard the alert. We have to get moving. Here's your helmet, Galactic Defender. Thanks. Just what I'll need to equalize the odds. And just in time. Get Ryan to safe. I'll hold him off. There he is! Subdue heart! Kill the rest! What are you doing? Ryan doesn't need to be involved in this part of the mission. I told you to get him to safety. We had no choice. We were pinned. They've entered the sewage tunnels. Our glider packs won't allow us to follow effectively. We need a squad of harrowers here now. Stay alert. Those shots sound... No! What? What are you doing, fool? You can't survive a fall from this height. I won't have to. Watch out for the hero train! Wow. That was... Wow. Seems even the Mantlo tubes prove an effective weapon when necessary. Let's keep moving. There are surely more where they came from. Finally! I would have figured it out on my own, little droid, but the modification parameters you provided sped up the process. Biotron is back online! Biosmith! Biotron's progress! Now! He's, uh, back online, Lord Karza. I was even able to modify... Be silent, you quivering lunatic! Send Biotron and a squadron of Harriers groundside to protect the Bio Vaults. A group of escapees is heading that way. Biotron, if anyone tries to enter, terminate with prejudice. Appears my comm link is temporarily locked out of the system. But the glider pack is working perfectly. Which is all I need. Persephone, I'll need you to remain in your chambers until further notice. There's been... Persephone? Persephone! Where is she? Her itinerary doesn't call for her to be away from her chambers at this time of day. Find her, you lattice. Return her to her chambers and keep her there until this has passed. Things are spinning beyond my control. It's time I went groundside myself to deal with this in person. We're getting nowhere. Those hair or bots are huge but fast. We need some distance. Someone scout ahead and see if... Scratch that. Just move! There's an opening ahead. Looks like a drop-off. If it's not too high, it could be just what... <gasps> I was afraid of this. Welcome to Baron Karza's Waste. I suspected Baron Karza's rumored bio vaults would generate some kind of waste system, but this... it... I didn't expect. <clears throat> Pull yourself together, Rue. We still have a job to do. Din is right. We have to collect ourselves and keep moving. Negotiating this... this heap of... well, it isn't going to be easy. <laughs> Just run out of time. We have to jump for it! Whoa! Hold on. I mean... It's not up for discussion, Ryan. Uh, I can't stop dry heaving. Uh, uh. Wait, I... I feel... I know you're not feeling well because of this, Ryan. None of us are. But we have to. No, you don't understand. I can't explain it, but I just... I don't know. I have this feeling we should be going that way. It's really weird. It's decided then. Let's move. Follow Ryan's lead. I know we're in a hurry here, Acroyer, but could we slow down just a bit? 
We've got no time for that, Jafane. The rendezvous with the revolutionary extraction team is just ahead. We should be meeting them any time now. Or perhaps not. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Escaped prisoners and my favorite play toy, a Croyer, among them. This ought to be fun. Escaped prisoners are running rampant through the streets of Macopolis as we speak. Baron Karza bid me to ferret out the identity of he who unlocked the bio and ISO pens. If you know of this traitor, honor your lord and speak his name. If you harbor him, you doom yourself as well. You are soft on your men, General Kai. Where is the traitor? Lord Karza? What are you doing groundside? You rarely- I asked you a question, Kai. I- I've yet to establish his identity, my lord. It's only a matter of time. Some of my men, most of the escapees, Archer included, are trapped in the sewers. The sewers? Have the rest of your men sealed the perimeter of the city groundside post-haste, Kai? Lieutenant, since General Nova is not to be found, order the Harriers to the skies to watch for attack. This ends now. Finally! I'm not locked out of the Comlink network anymore. Hmm. A group of escaped prisoners is heading for the... What's this? Bio Vault? Not sure what that is, but I assume it would be the structure I just passed. Yes. I see movement. Can't make out who they are from here, but one of them must be this Ryan Archer. You are mine, pen trash. Okay, this is starting to freak me out, but I'm getting another, uh, feeling like we should be going that way. I can't describe. No offense, Ryan, but we don't have time. Better to just check it out and worry about the consequences. Oh, baby. Ryan, I could kiss you. We're directly under the bio vault. Too right. Let's get to work. Uh, work? What do you mean, work? Are those what I think they are? If you think they're incendiary explosives, then yes, they're what you think they are. You... you're gonna blow this place up? I thought you were just sent to get me out of here. Ryan, did you happen to see what Baron Karza considered waste back there? What kind of horrors do you think contributed to that? We have to end it here. Now. This is the only way. This time you die, Acroyer. Uh-oh. Here comes the Flying Witch Brigade. Hope you guys know how to fight. We don't have to do this, Azura. The history of our people. Does it mean nothing to you? The past has little bearing on the present, Acroyer. Nor the future. I serve a new god now. Arza! When last we spoke, I told you. It's General Nova! Apparently, you haven't done your homework, Harrier Drone. If you had, you'd know the few variants left are masters of the lost martial art of Lane Ka. I may be rusty, but I've forgotten more of it than I need to handle you. Finally! We escaped the prisoners! Wait! I don't see Archer! Stephanie, what are you doing here? You should be- ah! My... arm! Oh no! What Not sure why the princess would be groundside during the melee, but her mistake is my reward. Despite the loss of our serpentine friend, I see you two were able to fend off your opponents as well. That's just it. We weren't even here. The fight carried us away where we waxed a couple of these Harriers ourselves. But when we sneaked back in hopes of meeting up with you, everybody was dead and Biotron was gone. Scale engaged. Complete. Log. Reference number. Unnecessary. 
Scan engaged. Complete. Log. Reference number 7302570. Life form. Human infant. Male. Vital signs active. Estimated survival probability in biofall. 8%. New estimated survival probability, 97%. Finally, we reached the surface. Looks like Archer steered us in the right direction yet again, Kariah. There's a Croyer, just as planned. And he's brought us friends. Good to see you again, Acroyer. But who is this with you? We weren't expecting- I can vouch for them. No more need be said. I assume your part of the plan has been completed? Indeed. Hey, wait. Is that who I think it is? The Princess Persephone, yes. Wrong place, wrong time. An unexpected element to the equation that may prove useful. Whoa. Not good. Prepare yourselves, everyone! Biotron's extremely dangerous and... Aloof? He... he's ignoring us. <laughs> Pitiful creature. My desire to create an emotionless automaton with the killer instinct only living beings can provide has proven a failure. Apparently, the human bio-organic portion of your operating system has asserted itself in ways I'd neither intended nor foreseen. No matter. I'll simply end the experiment and start from scratch. But first, a croyer, is it? I understand you are a feared and respected warrior. Fascinating. Hand my daughter over to me, and I'll make your death as noble as possible. I think not, Karza. Huh? We're leaving, and you will allow us safe passage. Or I will take your precious daughter's head without a thought. I hear tale that you care for little more than yourself. Don't make me test that theory. What? No! The bombs! Kariya! Are you... I... I'll, I'll survive. I... I wish I could say the same for the others. Ah... Uh, my... My bio vault. Is everyone accounted for? We lost four. By all rights, I should be dead as well. Ryan somehow absorbed the brunt of the blow for me. Where is the escape transport? Destroyed in the blast. Perhaps the charges were a bit excessive. We're dead then. Perhaps not. I have transport waiting on the launch pad. You may accompany me off the world. Loath as I am to admit it, our options are limited. What? You can't seriously be considering. He's a killing machine. He's only trying to- If he wanted to kill us, Met, we'd be dead. We have no choice. Pack up and move out, everyone. Biotron, lead the way. What? The Micronaut? I don't like this. I'm not taking my eyes off that robot killer. Let's tend to our wounded first, Adarasanepa. We'll worry about Biotron later. Hold tight, everyone. I've piloted practically every craft known, but this one is new to me. Could be a bumpy ride ahead. Bumpy ride ahead? Why do I have the feeling that's the understatement of the century?